How's it going, YouTube? My name is Javit, and welcome back to another video on Set Up Destiny 2. Welcome, actually, to a This Week at Bungie 727 2023, aka July 27, 2023. Uh, we got some new info here, and I'm sorry I have been away from so long. I actually took a break from the game uh, due to reasons that I'm not going to go over in today's video. Um, but we have a new TWAB today, and I am back, so I uh, it's possible that I'll be making videos again. Um, Keep in mind, it won't be often because I will be uh, working soon as well. But you guys don't need to know about that. Anyways, let's get right into the, today's video. So, Solstice is still going on. We have this week in Destiny of 7-27-2023, a.k.a. July 27th of 2023. This week in Destiny, we're, we're donning some sweet glow action to praise the sun, talk about upcoming economy changes and the philosophy of Warden's Law and celebrate accessibility in the game before we dive into shenanigans here's a recap of what we chatted about last week so we had solstice returns we had the emblematic winner which is like the uh like make a wish event thing donations um a message from the ghost aka um nola north last chance if you haven't seen that video it's on the uh you can search it up uh message from the ghost probably on the instagram or Whatever. I'll probably put a video link in the description. Last chance for two trials weapons. So for PvP, Solstice Shades. You can get those Solstice Shades when you complete one of the triumphs for the event card. And then Prime Gaming Rewards, which if you guys want to uh, sign up for Prime Gaming, might as well do that now for Twitch. Actually, is that for Twitch? It's here. I think it's for Amazon, actually. For this week, we're diving into, we got the raid date time, raid date time. That means, yeah, we're having another raid come back uh, next season. And I'll go more detail about that. Veil Containment Behind the Scenes, that's the new uh, weekly story, Veil Containment. Uh, let's talk about Warden's Law. Weeks, uh, this is week two of Solstice. And then we got uh, Economy Overhaul Recap, plus a nod to D Dead Man's Tale. Uh, time to vote on a map, it's the, trial, it's the uh, Trials of Osiris map. Not that I'm pushing for Cathedral or anything. I went for accessibility, and we're just getting started in the Art of the Week and Movie of the Week collection, selection stuff. So first off, probably the most probably the most exciting and important thing about this TWAB is the save the date. Our last raid was Root of Nightmares, and we had a TWAB that said save the date on it. This one is going to be for Season 22. Every raid, every other season. Okay, so like, for example, Witch Queen, first uh, raid we have was Val the Disciple in the beginning of the Witch Queen expansion. And season of the risen and then following two seasons after that we had king's hall come back now people are like expecting it to be wrath levi or leviathan or scourge but however i want to say that i think it's going to be crotazon now hear me out i know you guys don't like i know a lot of you guys don't like crotazon because it's oh because it's considered it's a it's, it's as long as a strike it's a dungeon uh, but hear me out um I'm actually happy that Crotozen is coming back because a lot of PVE players uh, want more raids to return, like 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 me basically. Um, but close time another raid experience is just around the corner, so uh, coming to season two and two, we're getting a reprising raid. So it's so okay. Now before I say anything about Crotozen, it's probably not. It couldn't be Crotozen. It might be, but you know, as this is Bungie, we're talking about they can do anything they want. They can bring back any raid, although it's not going to be Wrath because they also mentioned that they're not going to be bringing Siva back. So it's possible that it could be either any of the Leviathan raids, Scourge of the Past, or Wrath, or not not Wrath, Crotozen. So, and we're getting this upcoming raid on September first, twenty twenty three. So we have a little ways to go, like a month, less than a month, actually. A month-ish, I'd say. A few things to keep in mind, just like when King's Fall and Glass were turned, same thing, although it was only 24 hours during King's Fall and Vault of Glass time. For Root of Nightmares, this is where the 48-hour thing started. Contest mode will be enabled for 48 hours. This is just what they did with uh, the Root of Nightmares raid. Clearing the raid with contest mode active is the first step to access challenge mode. Challenge mode is basically where you're doing the entire raid again, except you're doing it to figure out all the challenges it shouldn't be too hard for this for if it's crota um in the director and the secret triumph completing the secret triumph will consist of a curated li list of challenges that that must be completed in challenge mode will be how a red team can snag that world's first title on that sweet belt so if you complete if you're the first person to complete challenge mode you get the world's first title and the belt 
Uh, to enforce the triumph requirement in child mode, your fighting will wipe if you fail the success conditions during any encounter. So basically, and it's just like a normal raid. So if you fail an encounter, you wipe. Um, and we got the contain the veil. This is the new. Um, this is like a community thing. Season 21 brought a few surprises. Hello, deep sea diving and, and fishing. A new lore to uncover. Season 21's veil containment is among those experiences, including delving more into what actually is the mysterious veil. So we get to find out more about the veil because the Lightfalls uh, campaign didn't t tell us too much about the veil. It's all about, in a nutshell, go find the veil, go find the veil. Could have just told us more about what the veil is. But we're actually going to be learning more about it. So, yeah, all the narrative stuff. Narrative team, you guys can read that. We're gonna skip that. Keep going down, and then we got, yep, this is all the veil containment. I'm not gonna read too much about that. Oh, solstice of my solstice. It's a week two of solstice. You grind solstice, go to Evel Levante. Um, new strand of rocket launcher, which in my opinion is kind of garbage. Um, uh, grind duo duologue. Um, I rather use a hot head than. The strain rocket launcher because I don't really care, <laughs> but I mean, rocket launchers did get a really nice buff, especially with Galhar with the special legendary perk. Um, so yeah, you can use that if you want. Um, there's that Warden's Law, more like Warden's Wee Ball. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's see. Ooh, okay. The Warden's Law hand cannon would be a thing that they're gonna bring back. I don't know if you guys remember that hand cannon. I kind of do, I kind of don't though. So, that might be a reward you get from doing the, uh, the hollowed layer strike, if that is still a thing. We felt like the most important thing to move away from is, the uh, idea of it firing a spread when it's multiple shots at the same time with a single trigger pulls the shotgun. All this, all the important stuff, but we're not going to go over that too much. Alright, now here's more exciting stuff we got. If you guys want to read the top, you can, uh... You can pause the video and you can just read all that if you want to. I'm not going to go over too much of that. Let's talk about economy, shall we? Now, we're getting some massive updates next season for the Ascendant Shards, the Ascendant Alloys, and the Enhancement Prisms. So, I'll actually go over on what we're getting. So, TL and DR, post-match rewards for Crucible Strike and Gambit change due to player feedback. Weapons coming back into the pools for Crucible Strike, Gambit, Nightfall, Iron Banner, and Trials of Osiris. You can increase drop rates for Ritual and Grabs upon Completion. And then we have new masterwork material cap. So from Ascendant Shard, we're getting 20 additional um, Ascendant Shards. So that means, you know, how you can only carry 10 Ascendant Shards. Well, now you can carry 30. So you're going to be grinding out a lot of Grandmasters, unless it's double Nightfall Week. Um, Ascendant Alloys, it's the same exact thing from 10 to 30. Ascendant, and then Enhancement Prisms went from 50 to 100. That's quite, that's quite uh, major. So that's going to be something cool to look forward to. Not mention that Oracle of the Desmond Sale will be added to the loot pool for the Exotic Mission Rotator. So yeah, next season we're getting the return of the Exotic Rotator Mission. So this is like the Zero Hour Strike, Presage, Harbinger. I don't know if Harbinger's coming back. It might. Um, that was for Hawkmoon. That's, yeah, it's also possible and it's also going to be a craft of Dead Man's Tale. So that's going to be really cool to get. Uh, we all want those crafted weapons. Me personally, yeah, Dead Man's Tail is a really good scout rifle, especially in PvP. So, yeah, that's for your DMT lovers, because you can craft it or grab it from the Exotic Mission Rotator, or you can grab it from... The Exotic Scout Rifle won't be a part of Zer's Wares in Season 22, but it'll always be a part of our hearts, so they are getting rid of it in Zer's collection. I get the feeling that they're going to do that with Hawkmoon, too, so I guess look forward to that. We got the map of the week. It could either be Cathedral of Dusk, actually, yeah, Cathedral of Dusk, it could be Vostok or the Anomaly. Me personally, I really want it to be either. I don't like. Hmm, this is a hard choice. Uh, I'd rather have it be Cathedral Dusk. This is the uh, King's Fall looking, on the Dreadnought looking. Uh, what's it called? But, uh, yeah. That is the map. Uh, so make sure you guys vote when that comes around. Why am I going up? Um, you can vote from August 1st to August 2nd, so that's pretty close. We also have the 2023 games. Uh, let's see. That Bungie has won our ever first uh, games to change. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go over too much because the game, in my opinion, it still needs to be fixed. The community is not very happy with the game right now in its current state, but... 
let's just go over the other stuff we got. So we got another update from player support, kindling armor issue, we are active, actively in, investigating a fix for the new issue that has been discovered. Further along the solstice quest chain after update point, uh, update 7.1.5.1 went out, this issue has kept the kindling pop-up active for some players and further blocks quest progress when rekindling all armor on one character. Event card reminder with solstice currently being active. Hang on. Being live, the solstice event card is also active. The event card is only accessible during the solstice event, so players should be sure to claim any completed. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Um, event card reminder. So, we, with the Solstice current being live, the Solstice event card is also active. The event card is only accessible during the Solstice event, so players should be sure to claim any completed objectives or rewards before the end event ends on August 8th. So, yeah, make sure you guys claim those rewards if you guys bought the event card before it expires on August 8th. Bring a spirit to the bonfire fight. Begin next week to be able to spare it to your heart. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. We're gonna be able to spare free roam uh, the bonfire bash on the EAZ sparrow. And then known issues, solstice items are missing from collections. And then we got not sure what that is. Solstice channel the hot seat is not progressing from all Niamuna activities. Uh, I've actually had this happen a few times. So you can complete Lost Sectors or the hype. But the easiest way to do it is just load up a Nezarak uh, checkpoint and just do that. Because you get like 70% from that. So certain honored centurions in the Gilded in the gilded uh, Precept Lost Sector are abnormally bright. <laughs> That's funny. And then due to an issue, we have temporarily disabled the bolstering, detonation, focusing, strike, impact, induction, and momentum transfer armor mods. And then you got your movie of the week and then artist of the week, which, oh my gosh. That is clever. Also kind of creepy. Uh, nice job to Madam underscore wizard on Twitter. That's pretty good. And yeah. And then there's the arc montage if you guys want to watch that. Anyways, that's pretty much a look over at this week's TWAB. I know it wasn't much, but the raid is of course the thing that's going to be up everyone's alley. Um, let's hope that this final shape showcase will be good. Um, uh, yeah, so let's just make sure that is good. Final shape will be coming out in well, I don't know when the ex when it's obviously not coming out, uh, but the ex but the showcase is coming August twenty second. I think it's at August twenty second. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother. Um, but yeah, that's basically the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys found it interesting and helpful, and feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, feel free to join the community discord link in the description below and as always that is going to bring it to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and as always my name is javit and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out, everyone bye